Hey, since most of you are done with your last semester and you have enough time to yourself, at the same time, your new academics are just about to begin. So, we are here with a timetable or a routine that you must follow for a better start to your new standard. Before diving in, we request you to kindly do subscribe to our channel for more of these kind of videos. Okay, let's get started. Before diving into the actual timetable, let's get to know a few rules of making a timetable because this is very important since everyone's different and if you don't follow these rules, you'll always find yourself not following a proper routine. So don't skip this part since you will be lost while you're watching the timetable further. Number 1. Be honest and don't exaggerate your simple timetable. By being honest, I mean to understand that our brains function in a realistic manner. Hence, when you write some extraordinary or exaggerated things in your timetable for the first time itself, you will hardly be able to follow it. Yes, believe me, I've done it too. Hence, take my advice and try to be specific with what you want from yourself in that timetable. Number 2. Mention proper time for breaks in your timetable. See, we tend to focus so much on doing that we actually forget to take some time out and that is very important. Hence, while you're writing your timetable, make sure you keep some break time as you would definitely need it. It would be during your self-study session as well. Number 3. Keep alternative days for alternative plans so you won't get bored. By alternative days, I mean when you are planning to have an activity in your daily timetable, make sure that you keep that plan mostly on the alternative days. Since at some point you will get bored and you will also eventually stop following the timetable which is not something that you want, right? Number 4. Buffer time Buffer time is meant to be in your timetable. This is because when you follow a certain timetable, there are chances when you won't be able to finish a particular task like you have mentioned in the timetable and that will demotivate you to continue the further task. Hence, keep at least an hour of buffer time so that you won't lag behind. Number 5. Keep changing your timetable Keep changing your timetable at least twice in a month. Why? This is because you are sure shot most likely to not follow a timetable more than 6 to 7 days. Hence, keep shuffling two timetables in a month. Also, I know that this timetable will not be applicable to everyone due to the change in your school timing, standard, etc. Hence, to get your specific timetable, we would like you to click on the join button now. Now that we are done with the instructional part of the timetable, let's get started with the timings. 5.30 am to 6 am Wake up time Let's assume that you have your school from morning to afternoon. But obvious, you will be waking up early. So that will be from 5.30 am to 6 am. Since waking might be a task for some of y'all, hence keeping the half an hour as a buffer time. 6 am to 7 am The productive hour This time is also known as the productive hour. Productive hour because this is a time where you will be the most active and hence a time to grasp something that you must be wanting to learn for a long time. So, you can choose to either study a difficult subject and then get ready for school. 8 am to 2 pm School time Make sure that you have a great day at school. At the same time, learn things and don't forget to note down your homework. 2 pm to 3 pm Lunch time this will be a time when you're back from school and now it's the time to have lunch. Don't skip this part since you will need some energy for your further schedule. 3 pm to 5 pm Power nap plus self-study or homework. Take this time to quickly have a small power nap to get ready with your next session that is your self-study session. While you're having a time of self-study, you can also do your homework at this time. 5 pm to 6 pm Go out after all your study session is done, you can go out and take a small break. Maybe go ahead and play or go ahead and do some running etc. This is just to keep your mind fresh and energetic for the later activities. 6 pm to 7 pm Learn a new skill Like I said earlier, it is very important for you to learn a new skill since by this you will be training your brain to think more in a way that will be an exercise for your brain. 7 pm to 8 pm self study 
Since your new academics must have started, it is crucial for you to start thinking of ways that you can be up to date with your new syllabus and at the same time you can also work on some of the reading skills and maths as well. 8 pm to 9 pm dinner. By this time you should start having your dinner. 9 pm to 9:30 pm. Read a book. This time focus more on your reading skills. You can read at least 3 pages that will also be fine too. Just helping you to brush your knowledge. 9:30 pm organize your stuff. Right after you're done with some reading skills, the next thing that you should do is some packing of your bag. Try and gather your notebooks, your compass, etc. whatever is needed for the next day at school. 10 pm go to sleep. So this was the timetable that you must follow for the new academics. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.